in the previous video I walked through how to do the the setup and I missed one step so I'm, in this video I'm going to show you how to export the timesheet but I want to show you real quick over here in settings I'm back in settings uh, I've come to company info this is where we earlier we selected to use ADP for payroll we still need to select this overtime occurs um, to, to let Lizzie know when you start tracking overtime. So let's say that, that overtime occurs after a 40 hour week. And then right here beside it, the work, uh, the, uh, work week begins on what day. Uh, so you let Lizzie know that, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, whatever day the, the work week actually begins. Um, we need to know that so that when we're calculating payroll and holiday pay and that kind of stuff, uh, in the export, uh, we need to, to have this information and once we set those fields we hit the next button here and that's it uh, so it's really quick and you, we could have done it on the first step I just forgot about it um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to actually export the information uh, from the timesheet so that you can uh, upload that to the ADP site uh, so we're gonna go up here to payroll we're gonna come over here to time clock we're gonna tell it we want to print timesheets now, if you want to print the timesheets out first to take a look at them before you actually upload them, uh, you can do that here on the left. This is actually using Lizzie's uh, timesheet uh, process. So you can come in and select the, the uh, employee you want to look at or you know, print them out. But this, this will actually give you a hard copy of them to, to take a look at in a PDF file. Um, if you're ready to export this stuff to send to uh, ADP, what you're going to do, and this is just a warning over here to make sure that you set up the company overtime and the work begins with, uh, and then the employee has to have the pay period set, and you should have done that in the, in the previous step. So all we're going to do is tell it which location we want to actually export, and these things become available once you get all of the employees set up uh, with their batch numbers and, or with their IDs and stuff so that Lizzie knows which ones to look at. Um, you enter the batch ID that you're going to use to upload the, the data to keep track of it, put in your begin and end date, and then you just click the export button. And when you click the export button, you'll get another link here. I don't have a way to, to test this but uh, or to show you, but when you click the export button, you'll get another link that actually allows you to download a file that will be uploaded to the ADP system. So that is really all there is to, to exporting the timesheet data.